here's T1 and M1. So you remember that when we, um, when we were looking for M1, we plugged in, we're looking for, for M1, we plugged in T0 and M0. Now we're looking for M2, we're going to plug in T1 and M1. When we find M3, we're going to plug in T2 and M2. So when you're looking here, you always plug in uh, the, the two values from the row uh, previous. So in this case, we're plugging in um, 114,400 to this equation here. So times 0 0.07 minus um, 14. So when we plug in that value, we get negative 59.92, and then times 1 for delta t, right? And so now we have 114,400 plus negative 59.92, and we get 108,408. So uh, I think you're starting to get the pattern pretty quickly, so let's go ahead and jam through the rest of these, M3, M4, and M5. We'll get 108,408. And then we need to find, I'll go ahead and you can do this at home and see if you get the same thing. So we get negative 6411, 44. Yeah, okay, good. So negative 641144 times 1 equals. And here's just a note, whenever you're doing, uh, doing Euler's method and you get decimal points, I don't care if there's nine decimal points, try to write them all down, keep as many decimal points as you possibly can, especially if you have a lot of steps, if you're finding T10 or something like that, but even T5, if you have decimal points starting with M1 and you just round and drop the decimal points, by the time you get to the very end, after you've gone through all of these steps, you're probably going to end up with the wrong answer, so keep as many decimal places as you possibly can, even though it's tedious, and, um, and then only round at the very uh, last step so that you make sure you get the right answer. So, pause. 1, 9, 9, 6, 56. So, 101, 9, 9, 6, 56. And then we have times point zero seven. Times 15. So we have plus negative 68.2408 times 1 equals, so plus, so we get, um, I'm going to go ahead and write it up here so I can see it, 95136.3400. Notice I'm keeping all my decimal places. So 95, 136.3192 plus, multiply that by, point, by point, point 0.07, subtract 14,000, and we're going to get negative 7340.457656 times 1 equals, so then we add that to 95136.3192, and our final answer is 95136.3192. One five four four, and of course, uh, now that we've gone through all of the steps, and this is the final number for M five, um, we can go ahead and round, and I'll round that to point eight six. Um, so this is our final answer here. We estimated 
uh, m of 5 or where t is equal to 5, and this is the uh, answer for m. So that's it, guys. Kind of tedious, but um, pretty simple in the end as long as you can remember this, uh, this formula here. Thanks. See you next time.